All right, guys, I'm uh, on my bed again. I'm gonna be showing. Um, let's see. Oh, Blu-rays. Yeah, the Blu-rays. I will be doing all of them, but I'm not gonna do every single one in this video. I'm just gonna. Uh, do a group of them. Anyways, I'm gonna be beginning with the two movie collection, The Perfect Storm and Three Kings, both starring Mark Wahlberg and George Clooney. Ice Cube's also stars in the Bond movie. I don't see either bone stitches for these movies. Diane Lane, Wim Fincher, plus Kaylee Allen, Allen Payne, Bob Gutton, Mary Elizabeth. Marshawn Daniel, or I don't know how to pronounce that last name, and John C. Ravi, stars also appears in The Perfect Storm. The David Ross movie also includes Spike Jones, Noah Dunn, Jamie Kennedy, Michael Wilson, Jeff Curse, said Target Mad Wee. Yeah. Perfect Storms Ray PGO team for language and Caesar Pro launched during it. Three Kings is very R for graphic, war violence, language, and some sexuality. How'd you fifteen minutes? There's the discs. Three Kings have no disc art on it whatsoever. Is horrible. The, the disc looks horrible without the disc art. Perfect storms. I'm not worried about. George Clooney um, did not like the punishment that Dave Roll also was dishing out on the set of Three Kings, and also according to the Watch Mojoly on the top ten actors and directors who hate each other. George Clooney stated that he would never work with Dave Roll Russell again, but the tensions between him and Dave Roll Russell did ease. I think David also has a reputation of falling meltdowns on set. That's that's what I think. Ten Cloverfield Lane. This is the second Cloverfield movie. I don't even have the first movie. I've seen all three of these though. This movie is from 2016. But before I continue with this, uh, let's see what the. This is a 2018 Blu-ray. Um, I think the Perfect Storm is from 2000 and Three Kings in 1999. Gonna be 20 years since um the Perfect Storm been out. The movies read PG-13 for Denmark government to cool and frightening synchronous of threat with some bonds and brief language. John Gallagher Jr., John Goodman, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, they star in this film. Yep. Oh, let's look at the bonus features. The movie has a commentary with Dan Tenshinberg and J.J. Abrams. Call of 2, Bunker Mortality, Duck and Cover, Spin Off, Calvin Optical, Fine Tuned, and End of Story. I own this movie on digital, so the digital HD code is off limits. But there's the two boring discs. I don't know who keeps doing that. Clear, no artwork on either disc. Next up is 22 Jump Street. Uh, a movie that I originally gotten on DVD before, but now less here is the, the case. It's Jonah Hill and Ch Chang Tantum. This is a good movie that's based on it. 21 Jump Street that was, was came out in 2012. Actually, it was a good movie based on a TV show. There are bad, mo there are horrible movies that are based on TV shows, and there are the great ones, the ones, that, the great movies with based on TV shows. Twenty two Jump Street includes five deleted and extended scenes that the perfect couple of directors. Oh this is Phil direct uh 
directed by Phil and Christopher Miller, who were fired from a uh, solo Star Wars story. Wynalama, commentary with the directors, the two men, also feature, also do, does commentary with the two stars. 22 Joe Street also includes 17 deleted uh, extended scenes and four additional line rhymes. Joko Paguza, Everything's Better in College, Jinko Split Video, This Perfect Line Led Fitting and Set, The Dramatic Imposition of 22 Jump Street, The Version Without the Jokes, Don't Cut Yet Mr. Walter's Prison Scene, New Recruits Casting 22 Jump Street, Jane Trona, Exchange Zook, and Miquid Football Video. Peter Starman and Ice Cube are also in this movie. It's Ray R for language throughout, sexual content, drug material, brief nudity, and some bonds. Yeah, dirty language throughout this. Anyways. We all know what the DVD looks like. And there's the disc with 22's in red with the white background. You know it's our work. There was a digital code in here, but I already ended up using it. And I can watch it anywhere movies in your room. Claire Holt, Mandy Boar, 47 meters down. The sequel came out in 2019, but I didn't see that one. So let's see. The, you are grasping for air. It contains an unexpected originally the making of the movie, plus the commentary. Join Roberts and James Harris. James Harris. Chris J. Johnson, Yanni Gelman, Santiago Guerrero, Matthew Moore, Moon, Modine, Sartz, also appears in this way. This, this movie's PG-13. Sequences of intense pearl for the images, visual language. This 2016 movie. This 2017 Blu-ray. This was released by Anchor Bay. And Dimension Films Entertainment Studio. The, those, that two movie collections from Warburg is Paramount. That one was Sony Columbia Pictures. And here's the disc for the Blu ray. The digital code for this movie has already been used. I can watch it on uh, Voodoo or any other digital websites that I own. I mean, I have an account for it. This one's pretty stupid. This one pretty much rips off paranormal activity. It is um, a haunted house starring Norman Reyes, Estes, Atkins, Cedric, and Taylor Mix Nick Sorshin, who was nominated for Worst Supporting Actor for this movie, and David Culture. It's weird. This movie rips off. I don't think this is funny, this movie. I've been watching it uh, a, dozen, various, a dozen times. Yeah, it rips off paranormal activity. That's about paranormal presence is on me, bone stitcher. It's very art for crude sexual content, crude and sexual content, language and drug use. This is from released by Universal Studios, but this is a open road films movie. Dave Sharon is also in this movie, and this is at uh, 87 minutes. What's it with the running times on that? I already read the burning terms for that first one. 103 minutes for Twinkle Flame. 112 minutes for that one. And 100, I mean 89 minutes. A Haunted House is horrible. And I also own this movie on digital too, which the code's already been used. Here's the DVD of the movie. Oh my god, I, I, I can't believe I keep watching this piece of crap. What the hell am I watching that for? Anyways, and this here's the sequel. I also keep watching a handful of times. Despite it's a, it also rips, it rips up paranormal activity as well. Malcolm has a new girlfriend and her children. Um, let's see. The th in addition to the three actors in question that were also in the first one, we Jamie Presley give you a. Glacius are also in this way. Here comes the slipcover. Let's see. The Bones of Cheers is the deleted aesthetic scenes and Marvel's 
is provides commentary with along with Rick Alphonsus and Michael T Titus, who who also directed the first movie. This movie is eight, 87 minutes. Eight, 80 something, 80 min, 80 something minute movie. Pretty easy to watch. Seventy one would be easier. Movies are R for crude sexual content, nudity, pervasive language, drug use, and some fun images. Ten minutes into this video, according to the camcorder. Anyways, there's the disc for Hunter House. DVD for there. The digital codes are already been used. I I want a digital. The Regal Pond Club. I actually am part of Regal's awards program, but um, unfortunately, I haven't been to Regal since March. So I can't be. I'm not able to uh, watch any more movies at Regal until Regal's uh, location in any way reopens. This movie was cursed by a scandal. You know what I'm talking about. A dog's purpose. Dog getting intro on set? This is based on that novel by W. Bruce Cameron. This is with Dennis Quaid, but in addition to him, Britt Robson, Kija Appa, John Ortiz, Josh Gad, also in this. Josh Gad actually does the voice of the dog. Three PG for the Mac Office and Pearl is 100 minutes. This is the ambulance, uh, ambulance movie. It's just for a dog's purpose. And the, the black DVD. The DVD is black. I already used the code for this movie. It also has advertisements for the Spook Movie, the Warax ET, and the uh, Cornwine. Babe and Fanny I think Peter Rapid got that line from Babe. That will do, pick. That will do. Next up is another movie that I see. This. I think this was the only horror film that I saw in theaters in 2018. I did. I did see a quite I mean, countdown in theaters as well in 2019. They hear you, they will hunt you. The Quiet Place includes creating the quiet with the director as the director gives you behind the scenes of, of uh, uh, scenes look at the movie. The sound of darkness, creating the world inside the world, reasons for science, are unforgivable and visual effects. A Quiet Place that contains terror and bloody images as a PG or team movie. It is from 2018, it's 90 minutes. And then of course this is repackaged because this is a 2019 re-release. This is a 2019 treatment of A Quiet Place, but the content remains the same. Emily Blunt is also in this movie. I already used the digital code on this movie, if it's included in this pack, so I can watch A Quiet Place on the digital. Next up is the Lee of their own 25th anniversary. This is the 2017 Blu-ray. I also own the 2012 Blu-ray release, uh, 2012 Blu-ray of A Quiet Place when I got it as a in a doll feature with, a, with some other movie. This movie is very PG for language, obviously. Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna, Lloyd Petty, John Lovitz, David Strathairn. Gary Marshall, Bill Portman, starts in this. Penny Marshall is the director. Elia Ron's new bonus feature it is all new, it's Ben Titan Baseball Enduring Legacy of the Elia Ron. It also includes the documentary, I mean the commentary with the director, Penny Marshall with the cast 15 to leave scenes, 9 memorable innings documentary featuring the cast and filmmakers, Madonna's This is used, This Used to Be My Pegamus video, and the Etsuka Trailer. Yeah, Madonna was in this, but she was also giving some massy knots. I think she was nominated for... 
yeah, she was nominated for Worst Actress a, a dozen, dozen times. It's original disc, and that's the 2017 Blu-ray disc. Yeah, I also have the 2012 uh, version as well of the movie on Blu-ray. Yeah, it says 2017 in there. This movie is from 2018 on Starsborn, and I pretty much enjoyed this movie. This is a great remake. This is not the first remake, however, of the movie. There were some other remakes as well. I think two. This is the third. This movie is 136 minutes, and it contains language throughout, some sexuality, nudity, and substance abuse. It's very R. There's also stars, uh, songs and performances that were never seen in theaters, plus the road to start making a Star Wars Born and the music videos. This is with Barry Cooper and music star Lady Gaga. I heard she was difficult to work with when it comes to the music world. And she was also banned from China. She met the Dalai Lama, and that's how why China had banned her from their country. And she's also got banned from Indonesia too. She was denied permit request permit requests. So yeah, China and Indonesia are the only two countries that I can think of that Lady Gaga is banned from. China sees her as, as an enemy because she met the Dalai Lama. Th that doesn't sit well with China. Andrew Dice Clay, Dave Chappelle, Sam Elliott, all stars in this movie. There's the disc of the Stars Born on Blu-ray, which is the black, olive green colored disc for the DVD. The digital HD code has already been used, but the survey code I think expired. I don't know what to do with that thing. Anyways. Oh, I got one uh, big Yoshi over here. That's my big green Yoshi. Also called the Whoopi, uh, Whoopi Yoshi because he likes to do his inappropriate thing with the uh, inappropriate, something inappropriate and he does it with the big blue Yoshi, but enough of that. Anyways, here's a wrinkle time. This was not a movie I enjoyed. Well, actually, this is not this. This turned turn out entertaining as I thought. But anyways, wait. Do I think that or? Not being honest. Anyways, the movie contains a blooper, blooper to the scenes, a journey through time, music videos, and the audio commentary. Featuring Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Minnie Colleen, Stormy, Zach Gamakis, as well as Chris Pine. Of course, also, of course, uh, just Michael Pena. Is also in this movie. Geeky Metal Raw is also in it too. APG for the Mac Elements of some Pro. This is a 2018 film and it's 15 minutes. I also saw this movie in theaters. This, just like um, A Star is Born. I didn't see a leader own in theaters. I was not even born yet. But that is a that's what movie I've seen too. The, the disc. I already used the the moves anywhere code on the, on moves anywhere, but my mother has also used it on Disney Movie Watch, which is now Disney Movies Inside Disney Insiders. Also has an advertising with the Disney Movie Club thing. Ah. Come on. Across the universe. The DVD is not in here, but the Blu-ray is. 
Across the universe, Israeli PG-13 for some drug contents, nudity, sexuality, bonds of language. And it got the extended musical performances, a deleted scene, the commentary with Julie Tamar, with Elliot Goldenau, the music producer and composer. Behind the scenes features and more. Of course, there is also an art gallery, plus which features drawings from the movie. Across the universe is 133 minutes. Here's the disc. The next movie I'm going to be showing is Airstrike. Also has a sticker of the scene Midway in theaters. I did not see the movie, but I have it on digital. Bruce Willis, Young, and Adrian Brody. Adrian Brody was the Oscar winner, was the Oscar winning actor from The Pianist, who also hosted Saturday Night Live, but he pissed people off because of the go because of his doing a Jamaican stereotype it's like Yo man, yo ma, yo ma Jamaican He went Jamaican He tried to introduce Sean Paul but he was wearing dreadlocks. Fake jet dreadlocks. Michael oh Mark Oh yeah the creator of the show was not impressed. You know, that got him banned from the show. This movie's rated R for Marvars, including the Sony Edgers, and also contains language. So that's a 2018 film. Across the Universe is from 2007. It's a 2000, the Blu ray release is from 2015. <laughs> it's a 2015 package, I think. Who was the source in this movie? Hmm. You guys, I don't see anyone else starts in this. Keep giving, he was given the Gippy Yay Yay. It's Gippy Yay. Gippy Yay Yay. I heard, it's like, <laughs> Chase and Marcus, like, Gippy Yo Yo. He says that word. And then Boost Force is like, I never seen that movie. Digital Shiko, the digital code for Airstrike was already been used. The DVD was a boring great disc. Next up, Legion. Oh. Got 23 minutes left. It's got Battle in the Bog. A Legion book to film and the commentary. Got. Finding the future, effects and technology, characters in conflict. Next chapter cast the characters, Phil and Girl. The movie contains Shani Woody, Dale James, Jeff Daniels, Miles Taylor, Isa Eckhart, Zoe Kravis, Maggie Q, Ray Stevenson, and Bill Stagard. A TV Spencer and Naomi Watts are also source in this. Some entertainment movie. Of course, 2016. It's 121 minutes. The disc guard on the discs. Here's the discs for the both. Next up is American Assassin. This is with Dan O'Brien, Michael Keaton, Santa Latin, Shiva Nigar, and Taylor Kirsch. This is released by Lionsgate. Or no, this is a CVS Films movie. Released by Lionsgate. It's a 2017 movie. But this is a repack. It's repackaged. It's has, this is the 2019 release. So it's got strong bonds throughout and it contains some torture, language, and brief nudity. It has Almo, Alamo Drift House Q and A. The bones extras on the Blu-ray: Target acquired, creating the American assassin, fighting Mitch Rapp, Dylan Byrne, Transfer of power, her ghost, weaponized training in stunts and in field different locations. David Shutet, Sachet, and Navy Nick, uh, Nick, Nick, Gra, Bon, Sky Atkins, or also in this movie. And it's 1 to 12 minutes. I already used the digital code for this, so the digital code is off limits. And there's the discs. Sorry, anyone to anyone who 
think he wants the digital HD code, but I already used it, so I can watch out in movies anyway. This is um, American Hustle. Kristen Bell, Bradley Cooper, Amy Adams, Jam Jeremy Renner, and Jennifer Lawrence. This is from Sony, released by Com under Columbia Pictures. The making hustles and deleting scenes, there they are. And the movies they are for pervasive language, some sexual country fonts. And in Pearl Pictures also were also did make, uh, work on this movie with Columbia Pictures. And this is um, another movie with David directed by David O. Russell, the guy that the school you say he would never work with again. Who, who else was in this movie besides uh, Oh, Louis C.K., Michael Pena, Alessandro Nerv... C.K. Louis C.K. was actually the guy who got accused by sexual misconduct uh, being inappropriate behavior in front of women. Where he was accused by multiple women and does something inappropriate in front of them. Although, uh, his comedy thing went, took on ev extra stuff as a cringe with what happened to, uh, Netflix, FX, TVS, The Orchard, and some other companies cut ties for him, canceling upcoming projects or removing their work, his work, his work, his books. I already used the digital HD code for American Hustle. And it also has an advertisement for the soundtrack. And it also has advertisements for other movies on Blu-ray, including Captain Phillips I have on Blu-ray and digital. And also there's Zero Dark Thirty. Zero Dark Thirty. Zero Dark Thirty was nominated for Best Picture. Lou Jasmine and Inside Louis Davis. Hopefully, I can go through this. I have 20, 18 minutes to go through the rest of the movies. Ava Games Sunday, Al Pacino, Dan Squay, Jamie Foxx, Cameron Diaz, James Wood, and L. Cool J. I'm not going to read uh, the bone stitches on this movie because there is a lot of them. You have the special features in Blu-ray and other... Aaron Aircard, John C. McGinney, and, and Margaret Charles Heston, Matthew Modine are also in this movie. Um, the original version is Ray R for strong for strong language and some nudity and sexuality. 156 Dream is 157. This director's got Ray R for language, sexuality, nudity, and drug content. Yeah, there's a lot of bone switches. The discs are black, but there they are. The DVD includes the theatrical version, and the Blu-ray is the director's cut. Yes, I talk fun. Charlie Stearman and James McCoy, also featuring uh, uh, John Goodman, Charles Treasure, Eddie Marshall, Sophia Potteria, and Toby Jones. 54 minutes or 114 minutes. No, yeah, well, American House, what was that one? 138 minutes. Let's see. This movie contains the leading setting scenes. Welcome to Berlin. Blondes have more gun. Spy Nasser, Atomy of Secret Play. Story in motion. Story in motion with the commentary with the director and the commentary with that guy, with the same guy, and then they edit it with the editor. Ray R for six is the strong violence and like their sexuality and nudity as well. Anyways, the discs are completely black. Both discs are black. But there they are. I talk Blum's digital HD code has already been used. And the other code on the other side is expired. Next up is Bad Bombs. We got Mio Kunis. Who voices Meg Griffin from Family Guy? So that's Kristen Bell, who voiced Anna from Frozen, Captain Hong. And yeah, we have any Omoto, J.D. Pick Smith, was Smith's wife, Christian, and Christian Africans. 
It contains Denise scenes in a gag reel, interviews with the cast and the, with their mothers. This movie got the R rating. Has sexual material, full partial nudity, language throughout, and drug and alcohol content. This movie is a, over an hour, 100 minutes. Jay Hernandez is also in this movie. This is from Stokes Entertainment, by the way, released by Universal Studios. I, yeah, Stokes, Stokes Entertainment continues to have their films be released by Universal Studios. And they appear on movies anywhere, too. They're not a major series like Universal Studios is. Next up is Bad Teacher, Kevin Diaz, Justin Timberlake, and Jason Sickle. Oh, those two will also appear on a sex tape together. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Kevin Diaz was going to be an all-time great until the poor movie choices came along. The least, we have the least scenes, outtakes, way right behind the scenes with Jason and Justin, raising more fun, raising more, more than funds. Also includes the gems, yearbooks, hint moments, featuring interactive yearbook featuring the outtakes for the cast. Three more behind the scenes featurettes and gag reel and the movie sync. Movies rate are for sexual content, nudity, language, and some drug use. Got Lucy Punch, Michael, John Michael Higgins as well, as well. 92 minutes for the theatrical version. The unrated version is 97 minutes. This has inside a work. And here's the DVD. Oh, Kevin Diaz. Is that a sexy pose she's doing on the disc? Uh. Next up is Broom Wars. I gotta hustle up here. There's a uh, delete scenes and extensions only on Blu ray plus. It's, yeah. Boy Robson. I don't think it has those bones which you would get on the DVD. Runes are arts, pervasive, strong, and screw sexual content, graphic, new in language, and it's 82 minutes. This is like a controversial movie. Still funny though. Guess I have a sense also in this movie. Sasha Baron Cohen also, direct, uh, also did Borat, which is funny but also controversial. You know, he's like, Hi, my name is Borat! I like you. I like sex. It is nice. That's what he says in the in that, <laughs> at the beginning. Forex thinks mentions he likes sex. What if that's off his mind? Anyways, he's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is actually the movie, not the TV show. Released by 20th Century Studios, which were known as 20th Century Fox. Movies are PG-13, has comic bonds, comic vampire bonds, and some drug references. Uh, Christy Swanson, Donald Sunderland, and Paul Rubens. T. Hag Power and Luke Perry. It's, it's from 1992, 85 minutes. This is actually 25 years. Here's the Blu-ray disc. I already used the digital go for this movie. Next up is Barry with Ryan Reynolds. This is actually a foreign rental from the Salzburg Library. 11 minutes and 32 minutes. 34 minutes now. That's the I'm behind the scenes of, make, of making Barry and its trailer. It's rated R for language and some violent content. This is a 2010 Blu-ray. 2010 movie too. I think. And it's 95 minutes. Uh, it doesn't feature anyone, it doesn't list who else is in this. Next up is Chasing, Drag Chasing the Dragon with Donnie Yin and Andy Lau. I just wanted to uh, do that so I can look at the case. The video in the background, in qu the video in question that's in the background belongs to me. It's got the trailer.
this movie is 128 minutes. We trained these two star these two men. I think Kid Chen, Fifth Coin, with her low, you kind, tall, Chin Big, Michelle Hu, and Rich Ku, Young Wei Han, Brandy, Brian Logan. I think Nikki Chow, Philip Lee, and Jonathan Lee, and some of the others. Here's the disc for Blu ray and the DVD for this. Also has advertising for Better Watch Out, The Wolf Warrior 2, and Venice. That one served like fresh on Martin's videos. Mine, God of War, Greater, Phantom, Kung Fu Yoga, and Implement 3. More. I think I smell dinner. I smell food. My Yoshis have a reputation of coming after my food. That's what they like to do! Hey, it's Chris and Robin with Eve, Evan McGregor. there. And this movie has a movie with May for Pooh. Pooh and friends come to life. Pooh, Pooh finds his voice. Pooh and Pooh become friends. This is what we see in a dog, Chris Robin. That's unusual. Jay Cummings is... Voice... Vo voice is Phoenix Pooh. Harvey... Harley Etel also in this. This is from Mark the Dark. Brad Garrett also voice. Although this movie is 104 minutes, it's very PG for some action. This we never seen a Winnie the Pooh related thing to get a PG rated. That's odd. The digital HD color used. Christopher Robin, for some reason, was banned in China. Because, um, I think the reason why the movie is, they, they, they claim that Winnie Pooh kind of looks like, um, the China's president. So that's probably, and that's the reason why China banned that film. I've seen that movie in theaters, too. It was pretty entertaining, too, because Winnie the Pooh was actually my childhood. And here's Chicken Little. You have a commentary with the director. Actually, Chicken Little making the original to the intro. To the scene, Shake Tail, One Little Step. Also includes the most features of the DVD. Uh, Ray G, it's a 2007 movie. 2007 Blu ray. This is actually 2005 movie. It's 81 minutes. I can't believe I've checked out on Blu ray. What do I think of it? Okay, first of all, Confessions of the Shopaholic. This is a Blu ray and dig uh, digital copy. It's a Fisher or uh, Sarsinus. Ray PG for some high language and thematic elements. It contains behind the scenes for Dre, Queen the Wardrobe, the Green Scarf, New York Crash Control, Accessory Music Video, Takes Time takes time to, to Love, Shit Songs, Blue Person, you seen Stuck with Each Other Music Video, Chantel featuring Icon, 105 Minutes, Hmm, Heat Star Seek, John, John Cusack, John Goodman, John Lico, Christian Scott Thomas, Leslie Bibb, All Sourceness. Not, let's see. That's the digital copy of the disc. And there's more inside work. Amazing that, the uh, Blu ray. Ah, uh, here's Crazy Rich Asians on Blu ray. Also, I also have it on digital too. It's got a commentary with John M. Chu and Kevin Kwan, the novelist. Crazy Rich Fun, the scenes of Gagville. Featuring Constance Wu, who was also in Hustlers, Gemma Chen, Lisa Liu, Akufina, Ken Jeong, Michelle Wu, Henry Golding is also in this movie as well. 120 minutes. PG-13 for su su suggestive content language. 
it's not like an Asian cast in Crazy Rich Asians, but despite that, I do enjoy this movie. It's like a sea green color. I already used the digital HD code for uh, Crazy Rich Asians, by the way. Cannot go into much details because I'm running low on time. Next up is Crazy Rich Love. We got Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Julian Moore, Emma Stone, Marissa Tomei, and Kevin Bacon. I got it hustle it up. Anyways, we got Steve Ryan walking in a bar. The player meets his match and the lead scenes. Ray PG or team for coarse humor, sexual content, and language. 118 minutes. Emma Stone's on the John Carol Lynch is also in it. The digital codes were even used, but there's the discs. That hurries up. Death Space, Downfall. It's got a delete scene. A movie trailer, game trailer, Fall Gary, soundtrack, and cheat codes. I'm not gonna read the cast. There they are. Not rated. It's 74 minutes. And there's the discs. I cannot remove them. They have inside work though. Next up is Death Race 3. That stack looked like it was about to take its fall. Anyways, this special features not gonna read them. But Ray R for bonds and like throughout sexual content. 105 minutes, 106 minutes for the Andre version. Anyways, there's the discs. Next up is D4 Horizon, starring Mark Wahlberg, Kirk Russell, John Markovich, Gene Rodriguez, Dylan Bryant, and Kate Hudson. Luke Combs, Big Queens, and Danny Trejo is on that one. I'm not going to read the bonus features, but there they are. This movie's ready to feature a team for Paul intense disasters, synchronous, related, disturbing images, and visual language. It is 107 minutes from 2016. Or I used the digital code. Next up is Enchanted, featuring Amy, Amy Adams, Patrick Dempsey, and the other guy. Uh, da, and we have James Marsden, Tiffany Stahl, Idina Mezel, Susan Sarandon. Ray PG for, the, uh, for Scary Images in the Andal. In the Andal. Enchanted is 107 minutes. There's the discs. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm hustling this up. And it's love. There's the bonus features, I'm not gonna read them. Ray PG routine for sexual content, based Ray Parshanuni, some language and team partying. It's 105 minutes. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a rush. There's the discs. I already used the digital code. Next up is escape plan. They are for bonds and language for about 150 minutes. It's the sequel. 